Hi, folks. Um, this is uh, Danny Allman of Allman Travel uh, and CARP. Uh, I'm, I'm, I want to thank you for attending, and as always, those who have signed up uh, but are in, unable to attend, the recording will be sent to you over the next couple of days. Um, as I do at, at the beginning of all of these presentations, I like to give a little bit of background on what we're trying to do here, uh, a little bit of background about ourselves as well. Um, We've, we've been in business, uh, my wife Debbie and I, uh, with Almond Travel since uh, 2003, uh, two years before I retired teaching from uh, St. Pat's and Queen Elizabeth High Schools. Um, we have uh, a number of specialties, but of course we can do uh, FITs, which is uh, individual bookings as well, but also like to promote special groups that will allow you to travel with family, friends, and others um, within our organization that are like-minded rate travel. Uh, one of the things that we have done a lot of business with is destination weddings. That's groups traveling down to the Caribbean area and where that translates into um, CARP members would be, uh, you know, if you were planning a special anniversary with uh, family or close friends to go down, we certainly can help you with that. We've done 130 destination weddings across Canada. Extended family, Florida trips, focusing on theme parks. So we, we specialize in that. Uh, Caribbean adult only or family vacations because of our experience with destination weddings and the need to know the different areas in the Caribbean area. Uh, we have spent a lot of time visiting those areas and, and inspecting the resorts. So we know quite a bit there as well. Um, river cruises, we've done 10 itineraries around the world, including Asia and Egypt, uh, as well as Europe. And of course, ocean cruises, we've uh, chosen the, uh, the more popular ocean cruises like Alaska, Caribbean, Mediterranean, and, and so on. Um, so we can talk to you about that as well. Travel conditions. Well, we know we are, are seeing positive things happening over the last month or so. Um, we know that Nova Scotia has uh, a very low um, new COVID rate, uh, and, and I'm very happy uh, about that. We still have to remain fairly strict about it. The vaccine uh, discovery that we've made over the last month and a half being rolled out now in uh, North America, Canada, Nova Scotia. Uh, it looks as though, according to the latest statistics, that uh, about 75% of the Nova Scotia population uh, should be vaccinated by September, um, projecting that obviously, um, you know, the entire population um, should be vaccinated certainly before the end of the year, making it appear as though it would be fairly safe to be starting to think about booking uh, for safe travel um, for early, late 2021, early 2022. Um, this is the 16th presentation of about 30 planned, which occur at 6.30 every Tuesday, uh, now into late March. Uh, the CARP travel website will be updated with the latest information, including a recording of this presentation uh, within the next couple of days. Um, certainly encourage your, your family and friends to visit the CARP website um, to, to view the recordings at leisure. There will be 16 up at uh, that point, but also strongly encourage you to invite your family and friends to uh, join us live for these presentations. Uh, we're also at Almond Travel doing something that's a bit different and out of the norm for us, uh, realizing that uh, there, there may be a significant um, segment. As a matter of fact, we had a number of uh, people contact us about the notion of uh, solo travel. Um, usually it's quite restrictive. Uh, but that is something that we are developing with a, a number of tour operators to have uh, no single supplements uh, to avoid those single supplement fees or at least to have them reduced. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. Um, also like to invite you if you have any suggestions for destinations or itineraries that uh, we could explore, I would certainly be uh, happy to do that. We have had uh, extraordinary success um, contacting uh, companies uh, like cruise lines and uh, tour operators and um, uh, resort chains and that sort of thing to um, help illuminate what they have to offer to you folks. A lot of times we don't know what's out there. So it's a great opportunity for you to be able to find out more. Um, I'm working uh, through uh, Bill um, Van Gorder of CARP. He's uh, the COO and chief policy officer for CARP National, as well as the founding chair 
uh, for CARP Nova Scotia, in addition to being senior spokesperson for CARP in the Maritimes. Bill and I have a close connection. Um, I have booked several trips for him and based on that, plus our friendship in a couple of other areas, uh, he asked us to uh, represent CARP Nova Scotia as the official travel agency and we were happy to do that. So um, without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Desiree Roll, Director of Sales of uh, Canada. D Desiree will be introducing us to everybody's favorite vacation island, Jamaica, <laughs> and it's uh, for special five-star all-inclusive resorts, couple resorts. Desiree, if you'd like to take over. Well, thank you, Danny. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you everyone for joining. Um, hello to everybody out east. I am here in Toronto, so I'm also chilly. Don't be jealous. I'm not in Jamaica. I'm <laughs> along with everybody else wishing that I was. And yeah, I'm just going to talk to you about Couples Resorts. I work for the company. I've been working for them for over four years. They are a wonderful adults only resort chain. And yeah, so I'm just gonna dive right in. Um, at the end, we've built in a little bit of time for some questions, if you have any. If not, um, Danny is your man. He can answer any questions that you have about the resort, the product, anything like that. He has a direct contact to me. So yeah, without further ado, here we go. And of course, first screen I try to click, doesn't work, technology. <laughs> okay, here we go. So um, I just like to start off, given the current circumstances, um, talking a little bit about COVID and protocols that we have in place. I know a lot of people are worried about traveling right now. They're worried about what they're going to run into when um, they get to destination. I know for the most part, us Canadians, really aren't going anywhere right now. I completely understand. Um, but these protocols are in place if anybody does decide that they want to travel. And so I just like to go over them very briefly. So we have our good clean fun policy. Um, so it's just um, we've trained all of our staff on prevention. We have enhanced cleaning procedures, um, the frequency of cleaning public areas. Um, thermometer screening, things like that for guests and for staff, just trying to keep everybody as safe as possible. Um, during this time, we have a whole section on it on our couples.com website. So literally, as soon as you go to couples.com, it comes right up if you want to dive deeper into it. But um, the policies are in place. I really just like to highlight that. We also, um, in in lieu, uh, not in lieu of, but uh, in conjunction with our um, Good Clean Fund policies, we have created our handheld concierge. So for all of you who travel with your smartphones, and that's pretty much all of us now, um, we're just making um, contact points a little bit less right now. So you can order room service, you can make dining reservations, book online excursions, you can message us. So if you need a few extra towels or, you know, if something comes up, you can just actually send a message right on the app. You don't need to go down to the front desk um, because we are asking people to wear masks in any um, common areas. And so I know you're on vacation. I know you're in Jamaica. And so I think people, you know, are trying to wear the masks as little as possible. And so because of that, we have created this app and um, the ability to do these things. So I just like to highlight that as well. And then I'm going to go right into the fun stuff now. So I have a little video to play for you. Fingers crossed that it works. Um, you know, I've tested everything, but, you know, with technology, and it seems to not be my day to day with technology, hopefully it plays. So, Danny, if it doesn't, just please let me know. So I always just like to start off with a little video, give you kind of a teaser um, about what couples looks like, what we're about, how much fun it is, how beautiful Jamaica is. And so I always just like to start things off that way. And moving on. <laughs> um, so our first resort that I'm gonna talk about is Couples Tower Isle. So 
This resort actually holds a very special place in my heart. On my very first day of work at Couples, I actually got to spend it at Couples Tower Isle. I mean, you really can't go wrong for a first day of work. And this resort is really cool for many reasons. So it was actually the first all-inclusive in the Caribbean. And this resort was actually built in the 1940s. So if you go and visit it, um, we have our piano bar and you can go in and you can see all of these pictures of all of the old Hollywood stars that used to come and visit this property. So people like Walt Disney, um, Princess Margaret visited here and it's just a really iconic property in Jamaica. and. It's one of my favorite places on earth. Um, I like a property with a nice breeze and at Tower Isle, you get like this absolutely wonderful breeze. You get the ocean air, um, the sunshine. It's just, it's magical. So these are some samples of the rooms. So in um, at all of the couple's properties, I like to let everybody know, we really like to go for an island tropical feel. Um, if you've ever been to Mexico, sometimes you get like a lot of glitz and glamour and marble and gold. That's not the aesthetic that the couple's owners are going for. So I just like to let everybody know that. Um, we use a lot of Jamaican artists, local vendors to decorate and um, get artwork for all of our properties. And so I just like everybody to have a, a general idea of um, what couples looks like. So a really amazing thing about Couples Tower Isle is 85% of the rooms actually have an ocean view. So even if you're not booked into the highest room category, you're going to get an absolutely fantastic view of the ocean. There's nothing in front of it, as you saw from the first picture. It's just your room and then the ocean's right there. I really like to go out onto my balcony in the morning and have coffee and banana bread that they deliver right to your room. And they start the service quite early for all of the early birds. And it's just, it's an absolutely relaxing, wonderful feeling. Um, so here is another picture of Couples Tower Isle. So of course it's named Tower Isle because of this little island. And it's actually a usable island that I will get into a little bit later, but we have boats that go back and forth um, from the dock all the way over to the island. And yeah, this is one of the um, really interesting and uh, magical things about Couples Tower Isle. And I love pictures. This one Danny actually took. <laughs> Um, if you had anything to add into um, this picture, Danny. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, exactly. It's, uh, this, this is a lovely resort, fairly, uh, fairly long distance, I think about an hour and a half or something from the, uh, the airport, but a, yeah. a very interesting drive through the countryside. Um, and and uh, I, I very much enjoyed that drive. The, um, the, the picture there is, is actually taken from a room, tele, telephoto, of course, uh, to, a, to a degree. Uh, but that's fairly accurate. To, you know, night, the lovely beach, it's, you've got the palm trees in the foreground and you've got the trees in the background and a lovely restaurant uh, as well. Uh, excellent, small, intimate resort. Definitely. Um, okay, just more pictures. So again, um, that's the restaurant that was in the previous picture that Danny took. This is actually our Bayside restaurant. It's um, an Asian fusion. It has an open kitchen so you can see in um, everything that they're cooking. It's an absolutely beautiful setting. Um, if you get the waves crashing, you have the open air. Um, it's a it's a really great experience. And as Danny mentioned, um, it's really all of our resorts are quite intimate. Um, they're not gigantic by any means. You don't need to worry if you're going to get to go to a restaurant for dinner, if we're going to be full. Um, that's not the way couples operates at all. And whoops. OK, another picture of this time Danny and Debbie. <laughs> yes. Uh, this this is a restaurant that uh, requires reservations. Although I imagine, uh, you know, in the times that we have now, uh, they probably all will require reservations. But this is a very high end and a wonderful experience that we enjoyed um, at uh, Couples Tower. Um, yeah, um, this is our Eight Rivers restaurant. So at all of our properties, we actually have fine dining. Um, it's our only restaurant. Um, so all of the fine dining restaurants, we require gentlemen to wear long pants and closed toed shoes. You can still wear a short sleeve shirt, um, but it's an absolutely wonderful experience, gourmet. Um, it's really romantic because, you know, we are a couple. So everything is kind of set for two. We do go with a, a little bit of a larger party. We are able to accommodate, but we really want everybody to have that, you know, 
date night feeling um, when they're at one of our properties. And this restaurant is absolutely fantastic, one of my favorites. And the mural that you can see there on the wall was actually done by a local artist. Um, we really like to try to keep things local. Our owners are Jamaican. And so we really want people to experience Jamaica when they come to stay with us. Your description of it as a date night is a really good um, phrase. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've taken my mom there on a date night. Also, my sister, they had a lovely time. But um, it's definitely meant for two people who are in love to enjoy each other. And it, it's a great time. <laughs> So again, just more pictures. So we have, you know, the typical swim up pool bars, the ocean views are there. One of our other pools, I really like evening shots. Um, I think the lighting is always cool. Um, this uh, swimming pool, the diving board was actually built in the 70s. Um, we have since roped off the actual diving board. Just um, people have a few too many drinks sometimes and try to jump off and becomes a bit of an issue. So we've turned it into a waterfall. Um, we've actually added some chairs in right in front of it since so you can actually lounge in the waterfall or lounge in the pool and have the waterfall behind you. So another really like lovely option. And something new that we have at this property um, is our all-inclusive meet spa inclusive. So we've actually built eight new villas at this property and you get unlimited spa treatments for your entire stay. This is my absolute dream. I love the spa. I love getting my hair done. I love getting <laughs> massages. Um, and so when you stay in this room category, it's all included. There's no additional charges. There's no taxes. There's no hidden fees it's just if you want to get three massages and a facial and your hair done every single day it's already included in the room cap um, in the room cost when you stay in this room category so this is an example of what the rooms look like they're absolutely beautiful they have the double sink vanities of course the robes sitting areas they all have their own private plunge pools um, if you wanna have some of your treatments right at the villa, that's no problem. You have a special little path that you can walk down to get to the spa. It's absolutely uh, incredible, especially if you're celebrating like an anniversary or a milestone. Um, this is a really great um, opportunity to make it a little extra special. And I have another little video for you. just another cute little video highlighting um, the spa villas. Again, um, they are wonderful to stay in. Another really great thing about them is if you are wanting to like highlight the end of your trip, perhaps you can stay in um, a regular room for the first few nights and then we just have a three night minimum. So if you wanted to do four nights um, in a regular room or at one of our other properties, no problem at all. And then you could tack on three nights at, um, at the spa villas at the end. I think that's a great way to end the trip. Super relaxing and um, we're really flexible with options at Couples. So I'm going to move on to our second property in Ocho Rios. So we have Couple San Susi. This property is so unique, so beautiful. It's our most intimate property. There's only 150 suites. So you're only ever going to have 300 guests maximum at any time. Um, there's lots of little paths and little nooks and crannies to get lost in. It never feels busy. You're never going to feel crowded. Um, it's a really great property. So this is um, some examples of what the rooms look like. And I just like to highlight all of our rooms have either a balcony or a patio for you to enjoy your outdoor space. So you don't need to worry. Um, if I'm going to book a certain room category, am I going to have an outdoor space? Wherever you stay at Couples, you will have that. So no worries there. So that's just an aerial shot of Couple San Susi. Um, it's kind of, half of it is built into the side of a cliff, which makes it really cool. However, I will say, if you have any mobility issues, this may not be the property for you. I always like to highlight that. I know in Canada, we're very... Um, 
we're very aware of mobility issues and we like to take that into account. Sometimes in Jamaica or other countries, um, it's not at the forefront of people's minds. So I just like to put that out there. There is quite a few stairs, especially if you stay um, on the cliff side of the resort. So I always just like to let people know if stairs are an issue for you, um, we do try our best to shuttle you back and forth, but you don't get the, the full feel of the property at Couple San Susi. So again, a little dusk outdoor dining. So we like to have, you know, dining right on the water. Um, just, you know, feel Jamaica while you're staying with us. So again, this is another picture taken by Danny. Yeah, so it's really interesting, Desiree. Uh, when we got into the business uh, back in 2003, we did it. We arranged a, a familiarization trip to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. There's a story there that involves a hurricane, which I won't go into, but uh, I, I had the opportunity to visit this property back, you know, around 2004. And mm -hmm. I have to say that the design or the makeup of this property has stayed in my mind as being the property that I hold up as the standard for every other property that I've ever seen. Wow. Uh, <laughs> That, and uh, you know what I what I particularly love about it is the fact that what we're facing right now is just a portion of what I call the jungle part of the, uh, yes. of the property, where there are all kinds of nooks and crannies, where you're surrounded by lush, uh, you know, tropical trees. Uh, I mean, the the ambiance of of uh, that side and the beach side is is completely different. And uh, you know, it's almost like you're going to two different resorts when you when you yes. go here. Um, I, I'm, I'm not kidding when I say that this still is etched in my mind as something that I compare every property to. It's beautiful. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Um, I've traveled a lot, especially, you know, given my line of work. And this is probably one of the most unique properties that I've ever experienced. Um, mm -hmm. There is something absolutely magical about this property, especially because it never feels full. It just adds a little something extra to it. So I'm sure I have more lovely pictures for you. Re another really cool thing about Couple San Susi is there's actually a mineral spring. And because of that, we actually have a mineral pool. So this pool right here that has these beautiful ocean views is actually um, fed by a mineral spring. So it's not chlorinated, it's not salt water, it has heal healing properties of the mineral spring, which I think is really cool. And I haven't really seen at any other resort. So, Again, couples likes to keep things interesting, keep things different. Um, all of our resorts have a different feel. And again, we want you to experience Jamaica when you're coming to stay with us. So again, talking more about these little nooks and crannies, we have our own natural waterfall at Couple San Susi, which is really cool. And then if you go along this path, there's like a little lookout. There's another, another mineral spring that you can actually walk down into and go into. It's absolutely freezing. I like to say it's like doing a polar bear bit dip in Jamaica, but it's fully accessible. Um, again, it, it's really cool and something that you wouldn't really experience um, at another resort. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the other side of the island, which is Negril. So our properties are in Ocho Rios, which is about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, depending on Jamaican traffic from the airport. And then Negril is about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half, again, depending on Jamaican traffic, what time you land um, from the Montego Bay airport. So Again, some samples of the rooms. We like to just keep things clean, uh, clean lines. Most people who are coming to Jamaica and coming to couples or resorts are not spending a ton of time in the rooms. Like I like to be at the beach by like 8, 8.30 after my second breakfast because you know I have one on the balcony and then I have one at the buffet. And then I'm at the beach all day long until the sun goes down and sometimes even further than that just because something that we don't really get here. So most of our guests really like to maximize their time on the beach. They're not really there for the rooms. They're beautiful, of course, but um, they are not extremely over the top with the glitz and the glam again. So that's just an aerial shot of Couples Negril. So a really cool thing about Couples Negril is it's absolutely impossible to get lost here. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Um, everything is centered around the main pool area, which you can see. So all of the restaurants, um, the main pool, all of the rooms surround that, you know, central area. So 
say you're sitting on your lounger and you realize, oh, I forgot my sunscreen in my room. Even if you're staying in a garden view room, it might take you four minutes tops to walk back to your room and then walk back to the beach, which is absolutely fantastic. You don't need to wait for trolleys. Um, you're not hiking up and down. It's just a quick, you know, in and out. Um, so again, for people who don't want all of that walking up and down, Couples and a Girl is absolutely the perfect property for you. So again, just another picture. I love pictures. I just want everybody to get a feel for the properties. This is the beach. So uh, Couples and a Girl is actually on Bloody Bay, which is a little bit more of a calm um, beach than the, the famous Seven Mile Beach. Still absolutely beautiful with the white sands and the calm waters. Just um, not as many vendors walking up and down, not as many hotels on the beach. Um, if you don't know, uh, the beaches in Negril are actually public beaches, so everybody has access to them. So if you're a beach walker, Negril is great. You can walk up and down these beaches, but that also means locals do have access to the beach. And I always just like to point that out. Um, another picture that Danny took. Yeah, this is, uh, first of all, I have to say the colors that you're seeing in the background are really true. Uh, you know, the, the Caribbean uh, green, uh, is is just superlative here. The other thing is I've been on this uh, beach visiting resorts and staying at, at resorts probably seven or eight times. And in that entire uh, time, I don't think I have seen waves higher than about six inches. Uh, <laughs> so it's always, in, in my experience, a swimmable beach. Um, this is an example of uh, what you might encounter on the beach. These are These are gentlemen who are playing music. And if you stop to listen to their music, of course, they would appreciate um, a donation, a small donation of money. But yeah, there's uh, all kinds of vendors. They're usually very respect respectful. And it is a question of just, you know, getting to, to just to say hi to them and, and enjoy the conversation and, and the lilt of their language. Definitely. And I also just like to add in, um, it does make some people nervous that locals do have access to the beach. I personally like that they do. They live in the country. I think it's great. You know, if they want to go to the beach, they're able to. Um, we have fantastic security at Couples. So say you saw a vendor and, you know, they're selling really cool bracelets or, or something on the beach and you're interested in buying something. Our security will just stand like a respectable distance behind you. They'll just wait for the transaction to be over to make sure everything's okay. And then, you know, you go back to your chair and relaxing. The vendor goes on their merry way. The security goes back to his post and it's nice and easy. So we always have security out there watching. Um, again, if somebody approaches you and you're not interested and you just say no thanks, they will just move on along the beach and you know sometimes you'll see them walk up and down a few times a day but um they know that you're there to relax of course they'd love to make a sale but they're not there to harass you and so we always just like to make people aware of, you, of what they're going to encounter so again uh, more pictures so we this is what we call our tree house at couples negril so if you're interested in having a massage or a private dinner, um, this tree house is actually available for that. I think it's really cool. You just get um, a more elevated view of the ocean and the property. Um, again, another really unique feature that we only have at Couples Negril. So again, we like to keep it interesting at all of our different resorts. And then our last property that we have is Couple Swept Away, which is on the famous Seven Mile Beach. In my opinion, and I know I'm a little bit biased, but I'm sure Danny can back me up. This is probably one of the best um, strips of beach in all of Negril. It's so wide, the sand is so white, the water is absolutely clear. Um, this is, you know, this picture, if you got there, this would actually be what you would see. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic property, especially with the location. Again, these are some of our sample rooms. Again, we like people to feel just, you know, relaxed and comfortable, get that Jamaica, Jamaica feeling. Um, a really cool thing about this property is it's so tropical and lush. So when you're on your veranda, you will feel like you're in the jungle or you'll, you'll be right on the beach. You really do experience Jamaica when you're staying at this property. So this is just some of the samples of the rooms. They're either two or three stories high, nothing super tall, and they're all villa style and they are spread out across the beach. So this property is a little bit longer just in terms of how the buildings are set up. So it is a bit of more of a walk for some people. Um, so I always like people to know that a little more walking at this property, nothing extreme by any means, but um, 
if you're staying at one edge of the property to walk to the other end, depending on how fast you walk, it might take you seven minutes tops. <laughs> Just letting people know. So again, this is an example of the beach. I mean, I know we all wish we were there right now. We have little hammocks, little sitting areas across the beach. Just, you know, if you wanna take a little breather while you're walking back to your room or if you wanna read a book. Um, again, we just want people to have the most relaxing vacation when they come and stay with us. Again, just, you know, we have our own boats at the property that we can take you out. And of course it's not, there's no charge with that. So it's just, you know, a relaxing vacation. You can be as lazy or as active as you want. And again, we have hammocks in some of the rooms. So if you just want to sit out and listen to the ocean and feel the breeze, um, a couple of swept away is perfect for that. So we have a great sports complex at Couple Swept Away. We have both tennis and pickleball. I will get into that a little bit, but if you are active and you like to be on the go while on vacation, if you like to work out every day, Couple Swept Away is absolutely the perfect property for you. So the largest fitness complex in Jamaica. So this is kind of an aerial shot. We have a lap pool, we have 10 tennis courts, we have the pickleball, there's a track, um, there's both squash and racquetball, um, there's a spin studio, there's obviously a regular gym, or you know, you can go over there and watch sports and have a smoothie, sometimes I've done that, but this is our fitness complex that we have at Couple Swept Away. So I believe Danny took this picture. Yeah, it's, I, I have to say that I was uh, absolutely amazed at, at what you folks have at uh, Swept Away in, in terms of um, physical fitness. Uh, the, the aerial shot uh, does, a, does justice to the outside things like the basketball courts, pickleball and, and tennis, but uh, there are a number of buildings that have, you know, uh, uh, these, these kinds of um, uh, things where you can actually sit and watch or you can be involved with uh, squash, um, or handball or, or whatever. And, uh, and you know, these are all air conditioned. So uh, yes. obviously you're, you're in there. If it's gonna be a hot day outside, you're, you're gonna be able to enjoy yourself without uh, having a heat stroke. So um, yeah, this, this is, it, it, I don't think I've ever seen this at, at any other resort that, that I can recall anyway. So uh, unique. Yes, definitely unique. And again, this is really for like our active traveler. Sometimes I feel a little bit ashamed of myself if I'm staying here and like I'll get up and like I'm going to breakfast at like 8.39, which I think is totally respectable <laughs> for vacation. And people are already in their gym gear and they've worked out and they've had breakfast and everything. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is amazing. I, I aspire to be that one day, but um, we definitely get that crowd here. We also have the people like me who just like to relax. So no worries if you're not into the all of the exercising you'll still fit in <laughs> if, I, if i saw uh, i saw all of those things and i i really felt after i was finished that i needed an umbrella drink yes exactly like i was just like okay now i need a strawberry daiquiri right away <laughs> um so again we People love Swept Away for its tennis. Um, if you're kind of interested in tennis, you maybe play once in a while. You can actually have a daily lesson with one of our tennis pros. There's no charge for that if you, you know, kind of want to stay active. We actually host tournaments here as well um, for both tennis and pickleball. So Swept Away is absolutely famous for, for the tennis program that we have here. So I have another little video for you. So I always like whoop, to show that video um, just because, as we like to say, we have all of the extras at no extra cost. I know sometimes you can go away and there's some activities or things that you might enjoy and then you realize the price tag and you're like, well, I've already paid X amount for a vacation. I kind of feel like I'm being nickels and dimed and that is definitely not the case um, when you come and stay with us at any of our couple's properties. So what's included? 
pretty much everything. Um, this is just a rundown. So of course, gourmet dining, unlimited premium brand drinks. Um, if you're a scuba diver, really great. You can dive twice a day um, if you're PADI certified. There's no charges for that. There's no service fees, tax, anything like that. It's just included. Our water sports are included. Um, golf, we pay for your green fees and transportation to and from the golf course, uh, both in Negril and in Ocho Rio. So that's included. Um, the tennis that I mentioned, area excursions. Um, we have a complimentary catamaran cruise from three of our properties. So if you want to go on a sunset cruise from Couples Tower Isle, Couples Negril, or Couples Swept Away, it's also included in the cost. You just sign up at guest services and out you go. And if you love it, you can sign up again. Um, there's no restrictions on that. So th these are just some of the things that we like to include in the cost. So again, some of the land activities and water sports that we have, glass bottom boats, snorkeling, water skiing, these are all included. You can do them every single day. So as I said before, you can be as lazy or as active as you want um, when staying at couples. And these are included at all of the properties. Again, pretty people having fun on a Hobie cat. So if you want to learn how to sail, one of our um, one of our guys will take you out. If you already know how to sail, you can take out the boat, have a good time, see a little bit of the island. And again, it's all included in the cost. So gourmet dining, one of my favorite things, it's included in the cost. <laughs> um, you want to go on vacation and have amazing food. That's half the fun. You don't have to cook for yourself for the seven nights that you're away or 14 nights or however long you want to go for. And Couples has absolutely amazing food at all of our properties, whether it's the fine dining or you're just eating jerk chicken at one of our beach grills. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. And again, it's included in the cost. Um, another great thing is if you go to one of our restaurants that does require reservations, and it's very few that do, mostly the fine dining, um, if you like it, you can just make another reservation and go. You're not restricted to how many times you can eat at a certain restaurant. That's not what Couples is about at all. Um, we want you to truly enjoy your vacation when you come and stay with us. So we also offer some complimentary excursions. Um, I believe this is another picture that Danny took, his lovely wife, Debbie. <laughs> yes, uh, Debbie and I went to Duns River Falls, which is uh, on the Ocho uh, Rio side. Uh, it's a fabulous place. You can, you can spend an entire day there. Um, but the big attraction is to start on the beach and actually walk your way up um, the falls, uh, you know, through, it's, it's very safe. Uh, usually a group of people will go and hold hands. Um, mm -hmm. But I've got all kinds of pictures. I know at the time that I took these pictures, uh, I was unable to go because I was facing uh, knee replacement surgery. So it wasn't really a good idea to be scrambling around rocks to, to do that. But I, I did have uh, a lot of pictures uh, taken, which I, I was very envious of. It was just, it seemed like such a great time for my, the people that I was with. Um, it's definitely a great activity. So if you're staying on the Ocho Rio side of the island with us, um, Duns River Falls actually included in the cost. Um, again, you just sign up with guest services and we take you over there. We pay for entrance to the park and climb up the falls. It's a fantastic uh, workout. Note to everybody, if you decide to do this, um, wear a secure bathing suit, secure shorts, secure top. Um, <laughs> let's, let's just say I learned my lesson. Um, keep everything secure with you. I always just like to say that in presentations now. Um, you'll thank me, trust me. And yeah, it's included in the cost. And so if you go and you love it, and you're like, oh my gosh, I really want to do this again. And um, that's no problem at all. Again, you just go to guest services and say like, I love Duns River Falls. Can I sign up again? Of course, no problem no charge, you just go and have a great time. So that's just one of the great things about couples is we try to include bits and pieces of things that really represent Jamaica. Um, the owners want you to experience Jamaica. So we don't actually want you to just stay on the property. Um, we want you to get a little feel for what's out there. And so we have offerings on both sides of the island. Unfortunately, if you're staying in the grill, this is just a little too far. It's about a three and a half hour drive um, from one side of the island to the other one way. And so most people don't want to spend a whole day in the car just to climb up the waterfalls for an hour. Um, so unfortunately, it's not included on this side of the island. But um, I always like to suggest if you're going to go to Jamaica and you have a little more than seven nights, 
do a split stay. Stay half of your time in Ocho Rios and half of your time in Negril. And then you kind of get the best of both worlds because Negril is really beachy, um, as you can see from the pictures, and Ocho Rios is a little more adventurous. And so you kind of get both sides of Jamaica. So again, um, we have lots of extras. So we actually include our own transfers. So when you get to um, the Montego Bay Airport and you go through Customs and Immigration, we actually have our own lounge. So you can go in there, have a drink, and then we take you on our own uh, transfers right to the properties. So I like to say you don't have to go on the milk run. You don't need to stop at 20 other properties along the way, which can really prolong the start of your vacation. I've had that happen and it takes like an extra three hours to get to where you're going. Thus, we just take you directly to the resort, which is great. Um, we have customized mini bars. I love this as a Canadian because I really like Caesars. I do not like Bloody Marys. There's a very big difference. <laughs> My American colleagues think I'm crazy, but we all know this is true. So if you really like Caesars, you can actually customize your mini bar and have Kamado juice and vodka. Um, if you like Bloody Marys, that's fine. I won't judge you. You can ask for tomato juice, but these are just little things that we like to offer. Um, we know everybody has their preferences. So again, you can customize that. We have romantic bonfires at the property. So you can sit out in the evening. We have somebody playing on a guitar. There's a bonfire going. It's just really nice, relaxing and romantic. Um, we have free Wi-Fi throughout all of the properties. You don't even need to put on a, in a password. Like as soon as you get to the property, it'll just pop up like Couples Tower Isle. You just connect and then you are on your merry way. So those are just some of the extras. Um, I believe Danny took this picture as well. Yeah, that's a shot from, uh, from the main building in uh, Tower Isle. Uh, just happened to catch the catamaran uh, with the island in the background. Uh, that's one of the catamarans that you know is included for free at one of the free properties. Uh, I've been on um, a catamaran cruise in the evening, and it is really a fun uh, experience. You know, it can be again as active as you want, or you can just lay back and watch people um, as they're dancing and and drinking and so on and so forth. It's great. Exactly. And Jamaica has really beautiful sunsets, especially in the grill. And if you go out on the catamaran, it, it, we try to do it for sunsets. So you get some amazing pictures as well and amazing views on your way back, which is a really nice um, experience to have in Jamaica. So um, something that we offer at Couples is we have a natural beach sections. So what that is, is if you like nude sunbathing um, between the hours of nine and five, so banker's hours, uh, we have au natural sunbathing at three of our properties. So Couple San Susi, um, which is pictured here, um, this is Sunset Beach. So you have to kind of walk down a little uh, path and open up a gate and it's a separate beach and we have a grill and a pool and washroom facilities over there. And so um, the all natural sunbathing is allowed here again between nine and five. Couples Tower Isle, the island that was pictured, um, again between nine and five, we offer all natural sunbathing there. And then in Couples Negril, there's a separate piece of beach that again we offer that there. Anywhere else on the property, you do need to be clothed. Um, but for those who like the all natural sunbathing, we do offer that at three of our properties. Um, we don't offer it at Couples Swept Away just because that beach is so public. There's so many people walking up and down. It just wouldn't be comfortable for anybody. And so for that reason, we don't offer it there. Um, I believe Danny took this picture. That actually, it's surprising. That actually is on the island at uh, Couples Tower Isle. And so uh, Debbie, in front of uh, uh, the swim up bar. Um, and that, that part of uh, the property also can be used, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Desiree, but uh, I believe it can be used for destination weddings too. Yes, we actually, you can actually have your own private wedding on this island. Um, the island's a lot bigger than what it looks just from this picture. Um, we also do private dinners on the island. So you can have a sunset dinner. We take you over on the boat. We feed you over there and it's really romantic. It's just you and your partner and it's a really great time. But um, during the day, this is used as an own natural facility. And we actually have boats that go back and forth all day long that will just take you over, bring you back whenever you're ready. And again, this is between nine and five. And just to mention, um, because we are a couple's resort, you just, you can't go over alone. You have to go over with your partner or with your spouse. Um, 
just we like to keep things as kosher as possible so you can't go over alone if that's if one person is interested in one it's not you'll have to have a, co a conversation maybe come up with a compromise because you both do have to go over um to the facilities and again over here we actually feed you lunch there's washrooms um people stay out here all day long between nine and five they don't come back to the main property at all until it's time to get ready for dinner maybe have a little nap um but yeah that's our own natural facilities and so I'm getting near the end of the presentation, but again, um, we have some of the best spas in the Caribbean. This is just some of the spots that we have. Um, we have amazing locations for massages. Couple Saint Susie probably has some of the best locations I've ever seen to have a massage underneath the waterfall, um, overlooking a point um, at Couples and a Girl. You can have a massage in a tree house. Um, we love people to relax when they come and stay with us. So we have really great spa facilities, really great services, um, really great um, salons as well for like hair, nails, makeup, um, grooming, any of those things. We have it all at all of the couple's properties. Massage uh, in uh, uh, couple Sans Souci, uh, completely surrounded by jungle. We're amazing. Yes, absolutely amazing. You really can't beat it. And like, you just feel so relaxed because I love massages and spa so much. Sometimes I'll get two or three treatments while I'm away. I just can't help myself. It's just not the same as getting a massage here, just like in a clinical room. You can't compare it all. Um, last but not least, um, because Danny was so gracious in inviting me to talk to everybody, I just have a little um, extra bonus. So if you decide you know, for now or in the future that you'd like to come and stay with us, I just have an additional resort credit for you to use. Um, you can use it on anything. It's not taxable. If you want to get a massage or have a private dinner or spend it all in the gift shop for your kids or your grandkids, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, if you do decide to book a trip through Danny to come and stay at any of our couple's properties. And this is just a little thank you for letting me talk to everybody today. And yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Desiree. Um, I just have a couple of uh, sort of general comments here. Uh, yeah. You mentioned Seven Mile Beach, uh, best beach in Jamaica in, in a lot of ways, and we've experienced a lot of places. It's one of the best beaches uh, in the Caribbean area, as far as I'm concerned. Um, the uh, drive to, to both areas, Negril and Ocho Rios, as I mentioned, uh, I, I found, you know, they, it, it was long, but it was very interesting. It comes through uh, little towns. Uh, it's got absolutely beautiful um, uh, views of nature all the way. I, I have no problem with it being um, longer than perhaps uh, other resorts, which are closer. Uh, lots of little nooks around the different properties where you can have a bit of privacy, uh, be in a hammock, show the hammocks there for some of them, but it's little sitting places, which uh, again, are just sort of tucked away. Uh, if you want to sit with somebody that's uh, uh, um, uh, you know some time with your special one, you can certainly find that and and uh, do that. Um, see, paddy divers, I mean, uh, and and diving uh, at at any other resort where diving is not included, it's uh, it's probably. Um, about $85 US per dive. So if you are certified and that is something that's really important to you, then you can see how that extra alone would uh, create a lot of value for your for your trip. So um, restaurants, a lot of them are open air, uh, which is very nice because I know that when we experienced it, even on, on hot days, it was a nice breeze coming through and very natural. You're not uh, enclosed by walls. Uh, you know, the, the food was, was fantastic. The ambiance was, was really great. So, uh, no, our, our experiences at Couples have been, have been over the top and uh, we've really enjoyed them. Um, so, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is to, to talk a little bit about uh, next week uh, at the same time, 6.30 uh, Atlantic Standard Time on January the 19th. Please join me for a presentation on country roads of Northern Italy. Uh, with Brad Ford, president of Inside Vacations uh, Canada, and Shona Finney, a renowned travel director with Inside, visiting among, among others places like Venice, Verona, Lake Como, and Lake Maggiore. We'll also briefly hear about the ability to connect uh, this wonderful coach tour with a wonderful Venice Po River Uniworld cruise, uh, which can be booked separately or together based on available dates. Desiree, uh, I want to thank you very much for working with me to help put this presentation together. Nobody knows the, 
the uh, the hours that we've spent in the background get, uh, putting <laughs> it all together. But uh, your knowledge uh, of this wonderful destination, four beautiful resorts, I think was portrayed very well on this thank presentation. You. I'd like to thank you very much for that. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, I can't wait for all of us to get out and travel again. I know we are all on the edge of our seats waiting for that to happen. And everybody book your trip with Danny wherever you go um, as soon as this is all over. <laughs> thank you very much, Desiree. Really no appreciate it. All right, so I guess that is it. I don't see any questions. No, nothing came up in the chat. So mm -hmm. I guess that is it for us then. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great evening, everybody.